the MSC program, I teach a course in investment policy. Uh, we call it investment policy, but it's closely related to asset allocation. In layman's terms, uh, asset allocation relates to the decision of uh, for a given investor whether it's best to have, say, 60% in equities and 40% in bonds or 50-50. Uh, it, it depends on investors' preferences. It also depends on what the expected returns and expected risks are in those various asset classes. In this course, I, I um, approach the issue of um, investment policy or, or asset allocation in, in three ways, and that's how we conduct the classes. Uh, first, we clearly have a theoretical treatment of the concept of uh, investment policy. Uh, so that's um, derivations, uh, lecture format. The second way we go about that is very hands-on by actually having the students uh, solve some practical, very applied problems in asset allocation using optimization software. The program we use is typically MATLAB. It's a mean variance based optimization program and that type of software is very widely used in industry. The third uh, thing we do in class is discuss uh, various articles from the academic as well as practitioner literature, particularly uh, some of the CFA readings. Students um, uh, work together to some extent. Typically the evaluation is about two-thirds uh, based on uh, work done on an individual basis and one-third uh, group work. In the class we sometimes have presentations. I usually give the students, uh, we have a discussion at the start of class um, and determine what, uh, how the classes will be conducted and whether there are student presentations or not. The mathematics in this course itself is not particularly complicated, so they need to know um, constrained optimization to some extent, but this is not meant to be a course in constrained optimization, it's in asset allocation uh, on an applied basis, so I do not overly emphasize the mathematical rigor of what we do. It's there, but it's not uh, the key thing of the course. This is uh, meant to be a capstone course on um, suitability, on uh, making sure that uh, investment decisions that um, a student uh, once graduating may be providing to his or her clients. Uh, it's, uh, suitability is a topic that is increasingly in focus by the regulators around the world. Uh, we have had um, a focus on investment policy at an institutional level for a, a long number of years. Typically, as uh, students entering this program would see if they're involved in, in CS, there's an investment policy statement set up for institutional investors outlining what a benchmark asset mix is, for example. This course will um, give students the insights in order to be able to do those kinds of recommendations on their own. Uh, that'll be very useful if they work uh, for um, uh, investment consultant, for example, to help uh, institutional investor determine asset mix. Increasingly, though, over the last 10 years, this approach has been uh, turned to the individual investor. Uh, we've seen in the industry a great uh, movement towards a scale in, the alpha, in what's called the alpha generation business. So, yes, you can pick a good stock. Uh, great, uh, you should gather a lot of assets and offer your services to a number of investment counseling firms. Uh, as I said, that business has gone to scale and there are fewer positions uh, opening in, those, in that sector. Whereas suitability, particularly for uh, individual investors, there's lots of room for growth, lots of room for expansion. This course will uh, teach students how to put together a suitable investment uh, program for, for institutional as well as individual clients.